can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight o'er the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rocket echoed the bombs bursting in air gave proof through the night that our still there oh say does that star spangled banner yet wave o'er the land of the free and the home of the brave ladies and gentlemen join me in a round of applause for Laura Perry from the Navy Band Northeast. She's got a whole some awesome teams right about now, experiencing nine times her normal body weight as she claws her way skyward in her airplane. We call her the Sports Gal. A quick nailer on roll. Puts her on track. For this next bone crushing maneuver, weighing sometimes more than nine times her normal body weight, watch the tumble, the gyroscopic action of this very lightweight airplane enables her to do tumbling maneuvers that were just not heard of some 50 years ago give you some understanding of how things have changed over the years. They're airborne. Now in recent years, through innovation, we're building a new airplane that will have the ability to be torn down and transported either by ship or airborne freighter to countries around the world. As Rich and I pass in front of you once again, will you all give me a wave from the ground? Wave both hands over your head if you will. Thank you for your enthusiasm. We're going to be setting up. She tilts her head back, looks at the show line, and pulls through with a one-half reverse human aid. <laughs> And it's time to sign up because as for pilots, it's the right thing to do. Watch the eight-point hesitation roll. Such precision and such skill. Protected. And she also wants to thank Lad. As the two jumpers approach each other, the lower jumper is flying his canopy to talk with the top jumper, allowing the top jumper to grab onto the parachute and pull himself down the suspension line. Once he reaches the bottom jumper, the top jumper will hook his feet into his partner's risers, so they appear to be standing on his shoulders. This formation is called the biplane. As the third jumper joins in, the formation becomes a three stack. The spiraling smoke you see is one of our jumpers performing a hanging smoke. He has smoke brackets attached to his feet. These smoke cannons are being used today to give our jumpers the ability to demonstrate aerial maneuverability under canopy. And your U.S. Navy parachute team, Petty Officer Brandon Peterson and Petty Officer Timmy Holloway. I promise they can hear you as they post the field. Let's give them some encouragement. Head officer Victor Maldonado presenting our steel trident. Come 
help me welcome in Pegasus, Victor Maldonado. Or by flying into a cloud. Not getting suckered into a technique. Now I want to tell you about the fact that there were 13,738 of these aircraft manufactured. They were sent to the United Kingdom. They were sent to the USSR. We used them as well. Watch the aircraft now as it goes into a series of snap rolls on the down line. From over 4,000 feet, the aircraft is descending at an extremely high rate. He reverses the roll rate in this one-of-a-kind biplane. As Danny Cleason told you, this airplane has serial number one. This is called the centrifuge. Sean E. Tucker, for the last 25 years, has been inspiring people all over the world to fly, including a number of radio control pilots who wanted to be able to make their radio control aircraft do what Sean's air... Tumbling maneuvers as he dives down. Hard rolling to the right with the outside snap rolls. Aileron rolls to the left. As the radio control pilots' aircraft got more... And like this, the forward flip. upside down, he's going to do a maneuver that he invented called the hooey loop. It's an inside-outside move with a tumble at the top that shows center up to 750 feet above the ground. There's the tumble. He will recover inverted, pushing forward on the stick with six negative Gs. Blood rushing to his head and trying to throw him out of the cockpit. is performed by no one else on the planet. The only person to have been awarded the Bill Barber Award for Showmanship and the Art Showmanship, Art Show Showmanship Award in the same year. Seven, eight tenths the speed of sound. The Super Hornet setting up for this, the square loop. Here we go!
Admiral Yamamoto was told, we have had a significant victory in Pearl Harbor. Yamamoto said, I fear we have done nothing more than to awaken a sleeping giant and fill him with a terrible dread. Young men and women started coming into facilities to sign up to go to the Army and the Navy. They came in to learn how to start flying airplanes. Rosie became a riveter. Right here in Dayton, Ohio, they started building airplanes. Young boys took their little red wagons and went out into the neighborhoods collecting steel. Moms and dads and brothers and sisters and uncles, the great generation who went to war to protect us against the Axis powers, who would take our freedom away from us. A visit to the chiropractor. This is the tail slide. As the aircraft has the pendulum effect, straight down she goes down. Now, without hesitation, a high G, 90 degree turn. Nothing but punishment and pain. Straight up now till the world comes to an end. Recovering on the opposite axis. Rolling out of four point recovery back parallel to the track. The dinks. The dinks tumble. Watch the nose and the tail as she rolls the aircraft into what we call the snapping roller. Now, as she comes out of that, we're going to go to the radio. That precision slow roll in slow motion. That is hard to do well. That is the mark of Lotto Lennox. Raptor!